If you want to find out how to add a keyline or outline to an Illustrator graphic that contains transparency, you're in the right place, and that would be here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. All right, so what we've got here is we've got this van graphic, and if I just move this rectangle behind it, you can see that the windows there have transparency. And so if we go and add an outline using an additional fill, it's going to mess that up. Let's do that. So if I get all of these elements just here, okay, and I hold down the Option key and drag myself a copy, of course, that would be Alt on Windows. I'm then going to group all of those things together just for this particular instance and use the additional fill method. Now to do that, okay, I'm going to open the appearance panel just here, hold down the command key, that would be control, of course, on Windows, and hit slash. That adds me a new fill, okay, I could then go ahead to the effects here, choose path, offset path, set my value and of course the join method to avoid those awkward jaggy shapes just there i'll change that to round okay and hit okay and then take the fill down beneath the contents and you can see the nature of the problem now this is in answer to a question from the community hi neurin thanks for the question great question doesn't it ruin the graphic and you can see it does a pretty good job of ruining the graphic so how do we get around it? Well, let's wind back and get rid of this one here. And I'll make an additional copy, once again, of the van. And let's have a look at what we've actually got here. So what I've got is I've got a group of the van body, like so. I've got a group of the surfboard at the top there and a group of the wheels. Now, the only reason I've divided these things up is because when I do graphics that involve wheels and you add a key line around the entire outside, sometimes it spoils the look because you get these nice dark tires here and then a big thick black line around them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just the body of the van and the surfboard like so and then group those together. Now to get the outline around everything here, what we're going to do is not add a new fill but we're going to add a new stroke now you can do that from the bottom of the appearance panel just here but the ninja shortcut is option command that would be alt control on windows slash and you get a brand new stroke now it will apply to every object inside of the group so as i increase the size here i'm going to make this maybe i don't know six points there you go, like so. Six points just there. You can see it's on everything. So what we need to do then is we need to make sure the stroke is still highlighted in the appearance panel. Go to the effects and choose um, the pathfinder here and we'll choose add. Okay, that adds everything together. Now don't worry about all of the additional stuff that's going on just here. All right, we can see a few other bits there some of which are, to be perfectly honest, created by a little bit of bad drawing, but the others, okay, they're perfectly understandable. So first of all, what I'm going to do is modify this stroke just a little bit to cure one problem. I'll change the corner here, okay, to a round join, like so, okay? And then what we need to do is we need to offset the path, and the offset needs to be half of whatever the stroke value is because the stroke is applied from the center of the actual vector segments. So with that still selected, we'll go back to the effects here. We'll go out to path and choose offset path. Now my stroke is six points, so half of that would be three PT. You need to enter that in so it knows to do points. It doesn't hurt. Also, to change the join method to round as well, that can sometimes cure some additional problems. If I hit OK, you'll now see that we've got an outline around the entire van and we've got all of the transparency preserved. And there you go. That's how you can add that key line or outline 
to a graphic in Illustrator that has transparency. And for now, we're done. But I'll see you next time here in the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo. See ya.